three. And the last. Okay. And the last one I'm gonna have you lay on the table. I'm just gonna have you send the okay. side dishes. Hello. Hello. I'm Andrew. I'm with X-Ray. We're going to be taking a few pictures today. Okay. 699. We'll be fine. We'll keep those pants on as well, okay? No, that's fine. But I am going to put the shield on you for your... Good chance of pregnancy for you today? No. Katie, what made you interested in becoming a nuclear medicine student at Galveston College? Well, after getting my bachelor's degree in kinesiology, then I wanted to do healthcare. So I talked with my sister. She graduated from the same program um, two years ago. And so after talking with her, it kind of like got my interest a little bit more, did my own research, and here I am. Currently, I'm enrolled in the CT program. So the goal is during the summer, I'll be certified in my MCT. Eventually I do want to do PET. So Emily, why do you think that it's important to use these arms in our classroom setting prior to getting into the field of nuclear medicine, into the clinical setting in nuclear medicine? I feel like these arms give you a really good base to start off with mm -hmm. because some of them, because the arms aren't like an actual arm, these can sometimes be really easy to use or really difficult to use. So whenever you get into the actual field, it's like, oh, okay, this is how the vein actually feels like. So it gives a really good foundation, especially with the steps and preparing your IV, making sure you flush your line, making sure you tie the tourniquet properly, cleaning the surface, like everything from start to finish. With pseudostratified ciliated epithelium.
the program um, is really geared to prepare you for an entry to mid-level management position. And these are positions that are expected to be in the healthcare field, within hospitals, within clinics, um, managed care organizations, um, public health agencies. All of these are a part of the health, that make up the healthcare industry. My name is Susie Chavaria and I work at UTMB as the manager in perioperative services. I'm a Galveston College graduate in 2005 from the surgical technology program. The benefits of me you know, finding this program and looking for it, I, when I went to look for it online, I noticed that there are, um, the cost of the program was a lot better. What I would pay for one class was um, essentially what I'm paying per semester here. Advancing in my profession now and growth in the department that I'm working in, um, UTMB is one of the largest employers here on the island and there's growth opportunities and with this particular program, it works with our schedule, um, my books are online so I, if not carrying around book bags and backpacks. Um, and the time that we meet, it's a hybrid program so we have some portions that are brick and mortar and some that most that are online so that helps us a lot with you know our work schedules. Hello my name is Tiffany Sherman I am a former graduate student here at Galveston College I graduated back in 2013 with my associate's degree in applied science after graduation I received a job in administration and fell in love with that as well when I found out Galveston College now offers bachelor degree programs I was excited to enroll considering it was half the cost of university and now I am enrolled in the program to get my bachelor's degree in healthcare management. I'm very excited. Go White Cats!